Hello, hello. Today we're going to be talking about my outdoor 40 gallon tank. So this thing is fully outdoors. It has a heater. Hang on the back filter. I rigged up a water pump with some tubing into just a extra thing to filtration and some sponges some bio rings in there all of that's filtering into here there's a bottom at the bottom of this it fil filters into here falls into here just so we can have some extra water flow and extra filtration in there but in this tank uh well since it's a bigger tank and i'm not eat i usually have the smaller tanks and this is my first uh 40 gallon i want to get something that grows out a little bit bigger so i decided to get cichlids uh specifically american cichlids i'm trying those uh i usually in my other tanks i've done community tanks you know with the tetras angelfish uh i'm familiar with cichlids but it's these really really aggressive ones that i wanted to work with and trying to i, I want to breed them i wouldn't mind breeding these i think that would be pretty cool but right now i do have some stem plants in there i mean i put them in about a week ago in there i mean they're growing they're growing but right now this entire tank is littered with rocks different caves just different places where these cichlids can hide but in this tank i have four polar parrots, three Salvini cichlids, and two convict cichlids. Uh, all the convicts and the polar parrots, I mean, they can stay in this tank uh, long term or even permanently, but those Salvinis, they get fairly big. So I'm, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to upgrade them to a 125 or possibly a 150. I think that'd be a pretty cool project. But I wasn't planning on upgrading anything in this tank. But these Salvini cichlids, they I really like those colors when they glow when they grow up and all that. This is my tank boss. He's the biggest fish in the tank right now. And he is an absolute asshole. He loves eating his food. He loves I'm just bullying everyone in the tank. Because I am trying to breed these polar parrots, I do have a tank inside for the fry that I'm gonna be growing them out in. Hopefully, hopefully I can they start breeding soon. But they are about oh, like two inches, a little, a little bit under maybe. But uh, yeah, talking to a few fresh runs, uh, they said to let let the parents hatch and raise a few of the batches alone. Uh, leave them alone let them do their thing let them become good parents you know it's a teaching it's a teaching moment for them but after those few batches swipe up half of them grow them out make sure they live and because there are other fish in the tank uh i mean most of the fry aren't probably gonna make it they're probably gonna become snacks to be honest i have a 30 gallon inside for the fry to grow out in for substrate i'm using medium pieces of sand smaller or medium pieces would be best for these cichlids because uh they dig uh and larger larger grains of sand can damage or you know they can have the sharper edges and we don't want them to get damaged or anything so when they don't they're not really digging digging right now but once they do start digging i am going to be moving this plant uh probably to a different tank or tying it down to a rock and hopefully trying to have the roots secured but yeah, right now these guys aren't digging that much for hardscape of the tank i have tons and tons of river rock in here creating different spaces caves just different areas that they can make their own territory and claim uh, i do have some driftwood that i'm gonna be putting in i'm not too sure where uh comment below temperature ranges 
for the outdoor tank. Uh, it usually doesn't get colder than 60 degrees because I am running the heater. Uh, and I try not to let it get hotter than 70. Uh, so turning down the heater during the day, uh, making sure because uh, the nighttime, that's what I'm most worried about is that really, really low temperature swing. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I'll probably be given another update in a couple weeks or some when these guys grow out. Ooh, look at him. There we go. That's our tank boss. If we can get a name for our tank boss, the the, Sav the Salvini Cichlid. Yeah, this guy's gonna be nice when he grows up.